Heap back, I am ill. Contagious, the others say. Really? The others say I have the plague. I'm feeling a little better. Thank you. Let's not make this a habit. I don't want your good nature rubbing off on me. You want to find out what's going on? I used to serve in the man who I'm done with fighting. Yatuka, Uwanrika, Chotin, Wani, Huta Yanolia, Sinta Ti, Cavadumpa, Mo Wendido, Chokerembi, Norta Cunyun, Dahupa, Bosa Curata, Go, Jujutu Yoki, Hiata Yamba White, Dovrekun Willy Wosa Slim, Dovrekun Willy Wosa Slima Poguanga Samoa. Unta chiwita inka ki kraya na chawanga kone. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Tayai da hupa bosa kurata go jujut kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Tayai ta ta bos. Something up? All right, what did you want to know? Yeah, that's a surprise. Did he say I owed him credits too? I'm as Atten as Atten will ever be. And whoever your trusted informant is, he's right. I did show up on Nar Shaddaa during the Jedi Civil War, along with a lot of other refugees. No, because you're asking about it. If I wanted to tell you anything, I would have come and told you. Anything else? Is this an interrogation? If so, you're terrible at it, especially for an ex-Jedi, or whatever you are. Why don't you just crawl in my head and try to dig out whatever you're looking for rather than asking about it? You know what? I helped you get off, Paragus. If I hadn't been there, you wouldn't have even gotten off the administration level. I'm trying to help you. I don't know why I'm bothering. I don't know. I'm not sure I understand it half the time. You know what? Not once have I asked you about the Mandalorian Wars. Not once. 
I heard about Duxon. Everyone has. I heard about Serico, and I sure as hell know about Malachor 5. What makes you think you've got the right to interrogate me on anything? You've got plenty of lives to answer for. All you Jedi do. How did you even live with yourself after Malachor? Is that why you went back to the Jedi Council? Hoping they'd kill you? But Jedi don't kill, do they? At least not their prisoners. Maybe you were counting on it when you went back in chains. So you got off easy. You were exiled, brushed under the cargo ramp. Another dirty little Jedi secret. I'll tell you. All those Jedi at Malachor? They deserved it. Every last one of them. Because Jedi lie. And they manipulate. And every act of charity or kindness they do, you can drag it out squirming into the light and see it for what it is. The galaxy doesn't need Jedi arrogance or Jedi hypocrisy anymore. The Jedi, the Sith, you don't get it, do you? To the galaxy, they're the same thing. Just men and women with too much power, squabbling over religion while the rest of us burn. At least the Sith are honest about what they're killing for. The Jedi are pacifists, except in times of war. They're teachers, except when it comes to telling their students the truth. And when they save you, it's only so you can suffer more. Whatever, just leave me alone. I don't know why I'm wasting my time with you anyway. Well, don't get too attached to me. I don't like it. It's because I'm a deserter. It's what I do. Served in both of them. Against the Mandalorians, before and after Revan, and again, when Revan declared war on the Jedi. I did, up until the Republic officers began to betray their oaths to the Republic and side with Revan, Admiral Kareth, Mon Halan, General Darid, and all the rest. Right after that final battle at Malachor, I was right there with the rest of the defectors, because it was the right thing to do. The Mandalorians were slaughtering us by the millions. The millions. You were at Serico, when they turned the Starib cities into glass craters. At Duro, when basilisk war droids rained like meteors onto the orbiting cities. And when the Mandalorians set fire to the Zoxan Plains on Ares III, the fires that still burn. Without the Jedi who turned on the Council, without you, the Republic would have lost the war. And we would all be Mandalorian slaves or corpses. We were loyal to Revan. That was enough. He saved us. After Malachor, after the Mandalorian Wars, that's when the Sith teachings started spreading through the ranks. We knew where our loyalties lay. To the Jedi who came to help us. Not the ones who sat back on Dantooine and Coruscant, watching us die. So when those same Jedi who watched us die decided to start fighting us during the Jedi Civil War, we fought back. I fought back. I started killing Jedi. A lot of them. People say killing Jedi is hard. It's not. You just have to be smart about it. No blasters, no getting close to them, no attacking them directly when you can gun down their allies instead. There's ways of gassing them, drugging them, making them lose control, torturing them. I was really good at it. What's worse is that killing them wasn't the best thing. Making them fall. Making them see our side of it. That was the best. I taught myself techniques. It's hard for Jedi to sense what you're really thinking if you throw up walls of strong emotions and feelings. Lust, impatience, cowardice. Most Jedi awareness doesn't cruise beyond the surface feelings to see what's deeper. And I was good at that, throwing up walls. And my superiors knew it. Sometimes the Jedi on our side wouldn't even realize I was there. Part of it? Maybe it was always me. It's hard to tell sometimes. I haven't known who I am for years. I wasn't the only one. I know you left at the Mandalorian Wars, so you don't know much about what went on behind the scenes in the Jedi Civil War. But Revan understood one thing. The real battle was going to be fought between the Jedi on both sides. 
That was the only battle that mattered. Whoever had the most, the strongest Jedi were going to win the Civil War. If Revan couldn't convert Jedi, Revan would kill them. So Revan trained elite Sith units into assassination squads, whose duty was to go out and capture enemy Jedi. I was in one of the special units trained to do this. Revan had plans for all Jedi. I think it was important that the Jedi see his side of things, the Sith teachings. Revan wanted to break them, and then have them join him. One day, I decided not to do it anymore, so I left. Ended up on Nar Shadda, became someone else. I didn't think you would, after Malachor, but it was a chance. I guess I was just tired of keeping it in. And I've been with you only a short time. Enough to know that as soon as someone signs on with you, they haven't got long to live. You got history, and anyone who travels with you doesn't. And maybe I want somebody to know who I was in case a story needs to be set straight. Maybe you understand. Well? There was a woman, a Jedi. She, she gave her life for mine. I never knew her name. She sought me out. She said she had come to save me. She was lying, of course, or I think she was. It doesn't matter. She told enough truth to get my attention. She said that Revan was doing something terrible to Jedi within the unknown regions. That when we captured Jedi, they were sent to a place designed to break them, and that anyone in his service who showed any ability with the Force was sent there too, to turn them, to break them into Dark Jedi, or assassins trained to kill Jedi. She said that's what would happen to me, that I had the Force inside me. That's why I was so good at killing Jedi, and that when the Sith learned of it, there would be no escape, no turning back. I would become an instrument of the Dark Side, forever. I had heard talk in the ranks, troops vanishing. I knew what she meant. But I didn't believe her, or want to believe her. I did what I did with all Jedi. I hurt her. I hurt her a lot. And then, right when I thought she couldn't take any more, she showed me the Force, in my head. And I felt everything she felt. And I heard just an echo of what the Force was, and how what I was doing, I think I loved her. But it wasn't that kind of love. It was the kind of love where you're willing to give up everything for someone you don't even know. I killed her for crawling in my head, for showing me that. But before she opened her mind to mine, my only thought was that I would love to kill her. And at the end, I killed her because I loved her. In the end, she sacrificed herself to keep my secret, to prevent the Sith from knowing about that touch of the Force inside me. She wasted her life to save me. Me. And I felt her die when she opened her mind. I've killed Jedi, like I said, but I was never there to feel it, to be on the receiving end. And after that, I couldn't stop feeling things. Before, guilt, lust, impatience. It had been orchestrated to get close. Now it all just kept tumbling out, and I couldn't keep doing what I was doing. So I left. I fled with the displaced war veterans to Nar Shadda and I lost myself there. Until the war came to an end. I wanted no more of Jedi, or Dark Jedi, or the Force. I just wanted to be left alone. And then, I met you on Paragus. And I thought maybe, maybe she had saved me so that I could help you. And if I can't, then I have to try. I didn't want to tell you any of this, but I had to. Because if something happens, I can't let you think I was doing it for something other than the past. Once, a Jedi showed me the Force. I heard it. I felt it. At the time, there was too much pain to confront it. Because if I did, it meant I would be changed into something else. Now, I'm not afraid of it anymore. And I think that by learning how to use it, I can help protect you, or at least buy you some time when disaster comes screaming in. I want to learn how to use the Force. I want to learn how to use the Force to help you. 
What must I do? Is there some... some ritual? Or... Another refugee? I'm sad to see another join our ranks. I lost my husband Lutra long ago in the Jedi Civil War. What? Lutra's here? Please! You must help me get to him! The exchange is circling the sector like Shyrex. If one of us should slip free, they will hunt us down and punish us. No one knows. I think they're trying to starve us into submission. Then they can make us slaves on the Hut Spice planets, or disposable workers in the Tabana gas factories on Slaheron. But other refugees think the exchange is looking for someone. Some even say it's a Jedi, but that's insane. No Jedi would ever come to a waste pit like Narshada. Welcome, traveler. My name's Husef. Uh, I try to look out for the other refugees. I see you're a stranger here. Watch your step and uh, keep to the camp. 
You've got the Serico refugees over on the Skyward side. They're veterans from the Serico campaign and don't take kind to strangers. And on the inner side, you've got the Overseer and his exchange. They've been pushing us refugees pretty hard lately. Those two have a truce. Neither side wants to mess with the other. Only if we enter their territory. It makes things a little tight here in the camp. Not much room to move. If you could convince either the Exchange or the Serico to give us more space, that would really help a lot. Thanks. I heard the Overseer kidnapped McDonough's daughter. If you want to find out what's going on, talk to the Are you one of Sakwesh's men? Did you take my daughter? The overseer, Sakwesh, he took my daughter to sell to the huts, all because I told him I could not pay his tribute. I owe Sakwesh 600 credits. I, I don't have enough. You would? Oh, thank you. Please, hurry. If he's already delivered her to the hut, it will be impossible to find her. I heard the Ovis here kidnap Madame's daughter. Monsikuno bosh tunabu. Kawana bota yunta tanga. Takumetak, blaia justing, miki gongo be. Untachiwi. Exchange's thugs are always demanding toll and tribute. This is Serico territory. Get out of here before we space you. Got it? That's a laugh. Look, blow out of here like space dust, or you'll be a new stain on the cargo hold. All right, you can go see him. Try anything, and you'll never make it out. Hurry up, take care of your business. for me. We don't need your help. Now get out of here before I space you. I'm spoiling for a fu Yeah, what is it? Well, that's too bad. Is that all you wanted to say? Hmm. Then what would you propose me and my men do? Yeah? What about the exchange? We can hold our own against them. Not that it's your concern. No? Well, we can certainly handle you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Greetings. Are you the spacer we were told about? Oh, we were expecting one of the pilots from the docks sometime soon to come and get us off Nar Shadal. He's late. I don't know where he is. Thank you. To be honest, I don't even know his name. Some guy named Planor said he had a pilot friend who would take us for 500 credits. 50 credits? Why? I was afraid of that. I knew I shouldn't have trusted him. Thank you. I'm beginning to lose hope that we'll ever get out of here. I heard the Ovis here kidnap Madar's daughter. Hey, you look like a spacer. You work at the docks? Because if you need a crew, I'm your man. I flew during the Mandalorian Wars, and again during the Jedi Civil War. Yes, and look where I ended up. You need a pilot's license to fly the freighters here. They're tough to get without sponsorship. I'd greatly appreciate that. You wiped out all of the Serico on your own? <laughs> Impressive. You've made things easier for us around here. 
If you could convince the exchange to take some... Thanks. Back again? Is there... What? Lutris? Something up? All right. Hey, let me take care of that for you. Let's see what I can do here. All done. Looks grim. Let me try something. That's a little better. Try it now.
Sacquish's calf hounds? Adana, my mom made the mistake of telling Sacquish he couldn't sell me to the huts, so he took me. Really? Oh, why didn't you say so? Oh, sorry about those things I said to you. You do look a little like a calf hound, though. I'll go find mom. Kick him once in the tentacles for me.
I appreciate you convincing Sakwesh to give us more space. We're indebted to you. You've already helped us greatly. Life should start improving for us. Again? Is there anything I can do for you? What? Luch what? How did you do this? I barely know you, and you've brought me word of my husband, and then a free path to him. It's almost too good to be true. You've given me my husband back, stranger. My husband. My life. Thank you. Back again?
again what the exchange is circling the sector like Shyrex. if one of us should slip free they will deal with the exchange you might as well wrestle with the planet visquis is the exchange boss here on narshada at least in this sector you don't want to cross him there's usually a battalion of hired guns lurking in the shadows behind him Please, don't cause any trouble on my behalf. If you harm any of the exchange here, they'll take... Yes, General. again
Back again? What? Lutra's here? What? How did you do this? I barely know you, and you've brought me word of my husband, and then a free path to him. It's almost too good to be true. You've given me my husband back, stranger. My husband. My life. Thank you. Let's see, three bricks of spice out to Elysia, then with a the turnaround, um, no, no, that won't work. Ah, uh, come back! Here so soon? I wasn't expecting you for... Uh, well, not now. Anyway... Did you miss a belonging to... Yeah, well, I... Uh, <laughs> I tried to explain that, you see, but, um... Well, now, let's show you me. I had no choice. These, uh, these thugs showed up and, uh, they said that you could go space yourselves. And uh, I was like, no, no, this is the Red Eclipse. And. Uh... <laughs>
Aida, I didn't think I'd ever find you. I can't believe you're here before me. The destruction of Telos? I can't even tell you what happened after, being shuttled from system to system barely one planet ahead of the Sith fleet. Shh. We can talk about it later. You have my thanks, stranger. I can only hope you have as much luck at what you're looking for. It's strange you came by when you did. I was right at the edge of deciding whether to give up, turning it over in my mind. And suddenly you walked through the door and gave me the answer I needed to hear. I'll remember that. Thanks again, stranger. ดาวันชามอริกอนโซบามาวานิดินจอริกิโซดูโซบาเรนวานโดมโมกาชีนอร์ตาฮิเรมเบวานาชิคากิโมโกกราโมดรมพาวานาคาราสมังกราคาวาน
Mulera Picho. The Chuta. Mulera Picho. Dovrei con mille uova. Torci. Monzi. Montaci. Da upa. Kawa. Boscard one Munga Kawa Kawana Botai Montachiwi Did you find us a pilot yet? Please. Thank you so much. If you want to find out what's going on, talk to us. Thank you for helping out Adana. 
Gariel says you saved his life. You've already... Fight for it. To starve you. I once fought for them. I used to say. Life's been easy. Something up? All right, but. Yes, General. I haven't heard anything more yet. I'll come s- Uh, all right. Kuriko a sotoya e ringe frite de tucha or samba soup de shunko jova ni.
Why are you here? Because I told her. Told her everything. Ah, and now you are free? Yeah, so no more threats, no more of your requests. You and me, we're done. Did you ever think I truly held you? You're more of a fool than I thought. What truly held you was you, and let me show you why. I once held the galaxy by the throat. As you once held her by the throat and let her die slowly. And your emotion at that point is what you fear. I can unlock that part of you any time I wish. It is a simple thing, the human mind. Once it feels something strongly, it becomes etched in the memory, the subconscious. Shall I show you? That part of you that hungered to kill Jedi, that took pleasure from it? Or perhaps you will continue to listen to my counsel, and I shall ignore your pathetic attempts at freedom. Now leave me, murderer. I have nothing further to say to one such as you.
Yes, have you? That crystal is bonded to you through you. Most interesting. Your crystal does not. Per is there something else you. That crystal is bonded. Is there. I know her as. Yes. That crystal is... Let me focus. There. Now it is fully in tune with you. Is there something else? I misspoke. We just got this message on the comlink. Looks like trouble. I think this is something everyone will want to hear. The droid's the one who picked up the message. He's got it all ready to display. Well... Good thing it's not a trap. No, Atten. I think it may be a trap. Could you please lighten up for one second? It may be a trap, but traps work both ways. This Visquis, his kind is spread through the lower reaches of Narshadar, and he may have information. But the choice is yours. If you go, you will have to go alone. It's just off the docks, near one of the far traffic pylons. He's got you at a disadvantage there, though. The place is filled with cyanogen gas. One whiff of that, and it'll be the last breath you take. You'll need something to allow you to breathe there, and disguise you from the other patrons. Well, they don't like humans there. The Jek Jek Tar is an alien watering hole. No humans allowed. No. Cyanogen gas attacks you through the lungs and the skin. You'll be dead in seconds. Besides, you'll need a full bodysuit if you want to remain disguised. Like I said, a human walking around in there isn't going to get a warm reception. Can't bring any droids in there either. There's a lot of electromagnetic activity in the area, screws with comlinks and behavior cores. Don't be surprised if your auto map starts showing static either. Well, I wouldn't keep him waiting. If you got his attention, you probably attracted the attention of someone else. Thank you. 